Oh, hi. <laughs> um, so last time you talked, there's a lot of theories kind of floating around about how the series is going to end, with some people thinking like there will be a have to have, you know, a child for it to be like the end of the Good ending. Is that, you know, who are these people? Yeah. Fans out there. <laughs> you know, speculation. Um, what can you say about how the story could be resolved? Um, if when and that time comes? Um, how could it be resolved? Or how, how different ways? Well, I mean, you couldn't really say without spoiling, you know, anything. And you always ask these spoiler questions. <laughs> and, you know, I know you do, but. Um, it's so hard for us to, in this position. I mean, we're not trying to be difficult, and we always try to give answers when they're, you know, we're it's not trying fair. to pose. Yeah, I mean, we're not trying to play games. The, the truth is, is that it's just really difficult to, to say that. Um, not everything in the show, I'm just going to say, is what it appears to be. It never has been, and you know, every time you you think you know uh, a version, then something gets recontextualized, and you perhaps may think something different about it with some given information. That's the name of our game, and we do that. We do that a lot. So, you know, if, if we would have said to you way back when, oh, there's going to be a love triangle, you would have never thought that it's going to be between two of the same person and then one other person, and such as Fringe, you know. So don't expect, you don't know what to expect, and nothing will probably be as easy as, oh, there's a nice bill. And, and there's some new cast members joining in episode 19, I believe. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, Henry and Jusik and their characters and how they kind of play into so every question you ask, <laughs> it tells spoilers. <laughs> the, 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 or what can we reveal about? We can it's reveal. At the end of the series. Here's the script. So, so starting with the ending and then working backwards, yeah. what happens in every episode? Um, uh, well, they're good questions. They're just hard to answer. <laughs> but what we can tell you is that um, both. Henry and Cusick and and, um, and Georgina Haig are spectacular. Um, it seems to be that we keep finding these European or Australian actors who just elevate the show. They are amazing. <laughs> they We can't really reveal anything, sadly, about the roles they play or their story function we without... We play agents. Yeah, but as Joel yeah, said, but, you know, don't, don't assume that just yeah. because they play agents and or just because what's been revealed in the press so far is necessarily accurate. How do we just know we didn't want you to? Think? <laughs> no, I, 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 think, I think just um, let us know what you think after it airs. That would be the best. Like yeah. the, the feedback would be more meaningful to us in this instance than anything else. You know 19 is traditionally a deviation, so that's a hint. Shh. What, what <laughs> would you like to tell us about the remaining episode? <laughs> that's, that's fair. <laughs> I, I think that we're, what we're really excited about it, it, from now forward is that, as we said the last time we saw several of you, um, the beginning of the season was really much set up for payoffs that are starting to come fast and furious now for the rest of the season. And I think that when we set out to tell this story with an alternate timeline and Peter disappeared and Peter came back, we had a lot of confidence in the face of a lot of network and studio nervousness of whether or not we would be able to stick the landing, as it were, of the season. And I think that we're now looking backwards from the ending feeling, you know, it was with challenges and required like a, a tremendous amount of like hard work and juggling balls in the Air Force. But I think that it's been an incredibly satisfying season because it's really paid off a lot of things that we set up back in season one. And it's and it's made us revisit things that we set up in season one texturally, thematically, character wise. And I think that this season has felt like it's enriched the show. Now again looking back from the episodes that we still know are to come. Uh, in a way that you know is uh, better than maybe we, we would have even hoped for. Yeah. How much? How much does fan feedback actually change anything? I mean, because I know you're just saying that that's a big deal, but does it does it actually change storylines occasionally? It, well, it's hard because by the time the fans see it, we're so far afield that you know it's it's difficult to, to course correct. And I don't think that like the hardest thing for us is uh, when you. If you're on Twitter and, and you see the, the positive things and, and the fans are so incredible that when they say, I can't believe they're doing this and, you know, why are they doing this and, and you know, our reaction is, well, yeah, but we're the same guys who did the last thing that you said, don't, you know, I can't believe we're doing it and trust us because we know you're going to like it and we know because we love it. So 
we feel you're going to like it. And it's hard for us because when they're getting frustrated and they say, oh, like, Peter has to be back. We're like, well, yeah, but Peter's not even gone, really. I mean, he's gone for three episodes. I mean, come on, give us a break. Um, but uh, we always, we know what they want. I mean, for sure. We, 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 our fans, our core fans are the greatest. We hear them, you know, and we know. So we're always thinking of that, and we don't want to let anybody down. And we just, um, you know, for a large, to, to a large degree, uh, the conversations that we have about the show and the end of it and, and how it is, is always centered on what do the fans really, what's the most satiating things for the fans. And, what do they deserve? Yeah, what, necessarily, <laughs> what do they want? Because I mean, they really suck it out with us, <laughs> you know, through thick and thin. And uh, that is that that means something. I'm curious real quick about Easter eggs and whether or not, like, everyone, Come closer. I'm wearing one right now. It's very difficult for me to find. But it's not. Well, I'm sitting on an angle very hard for me to locate. But I am curious, like, uh, uh, obviously, you know, that you have the observers and there's little things, but have you guys done Easter eggs that maybe we all haven't found yet? Or yes. there's like, do you see yeah. what I mean? Yes. Right, and so... The answer they, is yes, but if we told you. Well, are they peppered throughout all the seasons, or have you been, like, as the seasons have been going on, peppering in even more? Like, even, like, you know, because I know Community does a lot of, like, posters in the background that are, like, little winks to certain things. Well, you may or may not know that every yeah. week... <laughs> you may or may not know that every week the... I'm sure you know this. The symbols at the end of every act out spell a word. There's an Easter egg embedded into every episode that sort of teases the next episode. Yeah. Which you may or may not know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so literally from the first episode, there's been an Easter egg in every single episode that teases some element of the, the very next episode to air. And there have been series and season-long Easter eggs floating out there as well, some of which have been seen and misunderstood and some of which have never been found. <laughs> we but were if amazed. we told you what they were, yeah. it would ruin the game. Yeah. When, when it's all over, will you do something and like sort of do a little bit more revealing? That's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, we, we even said that if... if and one of the ideas is that if, if, if we weren't lucky enough to continue whatever, that, that we would probably write one um, special edition comic that would be, you know... Thousands of pages long. No, <laughs> it, would be, it would be elaborate. And, and you would really be collector's type of thing and, and that we would go to town on it and make sure that every idea and everything that, he, that, that we feel that like people needed to understand would be in that. And, and, and pay off that way. Um, that's our, that's our back, backup. Yeah, like but, Sorry, last question. How close are you to knowing about a season five? Thank you. I mean, you never know. I mean, like I, I mean, I've said this, but it's, it's like, you never know. I, I, I mean, nobody has given us ever any indication to think, you know, we need to know by the state or whatever. We're just doing our show, and if they tell us yes, then great. And if they don't, well, that's a tragedy, and we have to live with it. But it hasn't changed our opinions on what we do when I owe that. Has it affected where season four ends for you? No. We knew from the beginning, season one, where we're going. So it's like we, we you know, traditionally we've ended on, on chapters every, a chapter ends every year, and then, which is which is sort of our creative choice. It turned out to be a good one because, you know, just by inherently that's a very satiating idea that something comes to an end and there's you know, a possibility of a future. And you're, oh wow, I can imagine how they got on after this, and that's okay for me. If I was a viewer, I'd be like, oh, you know what? I believe they're gonna all be okay, and I can see their lives, and I can feel it. And I spent four years with these people, and fuck, I feel good. <laughs> you know, um, that's all we really care about. Do you anticipate a life after Fox potentially? <laughs> I think oh. that I think that I think that we all we all actually feel very hopeful slash confident that we will get to continue in telling these stories on Fox. If we don't, then it's a Warner Brothers decision whether or not they try to sell the show afterwards. Or a, movie. <laughs> yeah. a comic book. Yeah, a comic book. Uh, we, we know yeah. the stories That's we fun. want to tell, and then the medium which we, in which we get to tell them, you know, we'll see. But right now, we're feeling very hopeful that it will yeah. be the same format that we've been telling. More, more worried for our fans because we know, like, how devastated they would be, and uh, so we're really concerned about that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all. Thanks so much.